welcome to Rock and Game. But right now we've got a new feature, it's called Music. Oh, I've got to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about it. What do you think is going to happen, guys? Uh, it might be a bit of a massive mess up. In Glunderback, that's what they'll all say. But the start is lost because they're all. <coughs> the Welsh dragon flew because the Danish blew. The air strung out to dry. The Polish made them cry. In other news, Andy Murray, he scares Roger Federer. Benny Yoon, he wants off the tether. Lee Mears hates the England scrum, probably because he doesn't like touching bum. Steel Walcott's out forever He and Hargreaves could have each other They could stand under his umbrella They could stand under his umbrella It's time for final score And the final scores from the FA Barclays Premiership this weekend um, Arsenal 0, Aston Villa 2 Blackburn Rovers 1 Sunderland, 2. Bolton, 0. Liverpool, 2. Yes. <laughs> Fulham, 2. Do it. Just do it's, it. Just do it. You want it to do, do it. Do it, you, you can see it. Well, right, hang on, hang on. <coughs> the stars in the bright sky Look down where he lay, he lay, he lay. Yeah, that's, that's yeah but... We that's shouldn't fantastic. celebrate right now. As yeah. Nigel Wooden had said that in the press conference, he went, Well, David Healy's not really getting a lot of... Uh, Game time in a minute. I think he should maybe uh, move from Sunderland. And across the river from Sunderland, you could hear Roy King going, Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Is that exactly Shut up, Worthington! <laughs> you're, a <cl> you're a clown! <laughs> this week, Hull are drawing. Yuck. Well, I was just sat in my underpants, bear in mind, and I decided I was going to recreate the scene as I ran to the toilet, so I paused the film, ran upstairs, and shouted at the top of the stairs as loud as possible, Drago! To which I saw a guy fiddling with a telephone socket, and <laughs> uh, he went to me, oh, uh, you are right there? Uh, cup of tea, I, mate. I, I, yeah, exactly. That's it. That's <laughs> cup exactly of tea, mate. Thing. Milk, two uh, sugar. Yeah, uh, do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> Look, I'll be honest with you though, we had a fantastic time. I gave her a hug and a peck on the cheek before we left and we exchanged numbers. Okay. Have you texted or did you text back? Because you can't tease it. No, I'm doing the five week rule. <laughs> where I, yeah, you, you never text before five When she's weeks. given up hope, when she's just about to kick that chair over and hang from the ceiling. Sorry about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you finally ring, her mobile goes off, but she can't do anything. She's stranded there. Yep. And you're going to feel responsible. <clears throat> and then. It turns sour. A big elbow into my schnoz. And a punch either side of my nose onto my beautiful eyes. And now I am wearing badges of a, shot of a shade that's darker than dark. Dan from Hull, tell me that you can hear me. Hi. Ah, oh, there he Excellent. is. Excellent, great. We can Help. hear him loud and clear. Benedict, so, I feel your pain. I know exactly how you feel. I've had experience with the Hull Mafia. <laughs> is there quite, not is there quite a Mafia in Hull? Uh, hey, don't like, hey, don't talk down to the Hull Mafia, otherwise, like, your car, mate, gone. That's what I'm saying. Really? Yeah. Is that bad? How did you get through those times? Because I'm, I'm suffering. I, I really need your help. I, need I struggle, man. I mean, I spent, I spent days in my house. I wouldn't dare leave. You know, I, I had to, I had to, I just stayed in bed. I like trained a, a dog to like, you know, bring me food from the fridge so and beer yeah. to like get me through that <laughs> difficult time. The best cure is death is beer. It's beer. always beer. Apparently what he did was uh he ran from his own goal line, uh, ran past every player on the pitch, including the goalkeeper, turned yep. around, went back to his own goal line and repeated the same feat again just for kicks before scoring a magnificent header. That's it a, was absolutely brilliant. How he did has he been, even get the header as well? Because he had the ball at his feet the entire he time. He would have had to flick it up like some sort of genius. He has been called the new Belasniakov. As in the ballet dancer? Uh, yes. ballet, ballet dancer slash superstar striker. Okay, we've got some quotes of the week, haven't we, this week? Go on, Chris. Give we've us got, your best. <laughs> we've got a great one from Rio Fernandes. I don't know if you heard about yep. this. That, uh, Real, uh, Diego Maradona last week visited the Man United training ground. On his 30th uh, birthday as well. Yeah, uh, on Rio Fernandes' 30th birthday, that's right. And uh, Rio exclaimed, I'm going to put it on a very bad accent, 
people like school kids who are on the star are uh, coming to school to able to shake his hand, get a cuddle off him and a picture. It made my birthday. <laughs> uh, did you have ice cream, Rio? Uh, I think he did might. I like uh, Rory Delap this week on reports that he, uh, he may represent Ireland in the javelin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they must be pretty. I can't do his accent. They must be pretty desperate if they're scraping a barrel for me. I represented my country, so I was decent at it. But I don't know if I was an Olympic standard. <laughs> Who proposed that? I can just imagine that was a load of Irish Olympic Committee. They've got a low budget for javelin. They had a few pints of Guinness, and right, Rory, right. Up. You know what? We need we need throwers for the next Olympics. So what we're going to do? You know that Dela fella for Stoke. <laughs> Like he can, he can like throw a ball miles, uh, well I've not ma- not miles, miles, literally several yards, and that's better than I've seen. So you know what? Get him on the blower. He's he's our thrower. <laughs> he's our thrower for long. We'll have an answer, but we don't have much time left. And Mark Lawrence's come all the way down. Oh hi, I'm back, am I? Um, yeah, welcome back. Uh, you were here in our first broadcast, weren't you, Mark? I was. Uh, ever since then, I've just been sort of hanging about Greg's, you know, picking up a few scraps every now and again. People have been dead generous. Really? It's been good, but also uh, putting in predictions every week. Yeah. People keep criticising me because I hardly get any right, but, you know, I'm not perfect. I don't know. I don't know the future. Well, I suppose if you did, then maybe you wouldn't be hanging around Greg's every week. That's true. That's exactly yeah. right. I'd be in the bookies. Yeah. Uh, how's, it, how's things going at Labrooks? Uh, yeah, it's not great. They've only put me on uh, Sundays now, three till seven. Just one, <laughs> really? one, one shift away. I tell you something, let me tell you about pressure. I'll tell you about some pressure. Last May, the big game, me, John Terry, I'll step up to take the kick to win the match for my team. All of a sudden, I slip. Some moron left a banana skin on the pitch. I tell you, if I ever find that guy, he's not going to know his kneecaps again. I tell you, the roasting I got from that Israeli monster that was managing our team. What an animal he was. And I'll never, ever live that down. Rock and go on Fuse FM. <laughs> 